It is Wednesday's MUTV group chat. Welcome. Great to have you with us again. Uh, the original panel are back together once more after Maisie yet again bombed us out when we had a big interview. He's missed Ollie. He's missed Igalo, but he's decided to rejoin us today. Good to see you, mate. You just pick and choose, don't you? Listen, when you, when you play golf, you have, to have, you have to book in now because it's on a two and three ball. You have to book in a week in advance. So when I get that opportunity for tea time, it's not my fault MUTV can't work around me. <laughs> Odie and the guy was there, mate. You could have called you could have called us from the course between holes or something, no? <laughs> Careful what you're saying there, Stu. No, yeah. Um, <laughs> Disappointing though, mate. You let the lads know. down. Hey, you got a good replacement in McCauley, so. No, we did. We did. Um Listen, before we... Are everything all right? Let's put away... It's lashing with rain here, Ben. What's going on? With, once again, in your mysterious Mediterranean hideout. No, I think it, this is the last of it now, I think. Yeah. I'm milking every last drop. It's going to rain later. Good. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's um, just get through the reaction on social media um, to the last couple of shows. Obviously, Igalo, John Bradley from Game of Thrones. As well, in the last couple of days, uh, there's been loads of it. So let me just get through some of this. This one from Adam, maybe COVID-19 is the long winter in Game of Thrones. I love John and Kit when I found out they were both Reds. This one, thanks for getting John on. John Bradley, that is from Game of Thrones. I requested it a few weeks ago. It was a brilliant group chat today. Thanks for that. Another one here. Uh, Hi, guys. Top show. If I make a request, can we get Fletch on this show? Top player. Fantastic servant for United. Pity. That it was uh, Adam heard the hurdle of illness, but I'm sure he'd have loads to share. Please do consider. Lots of love from India. That might where's that might happen, might it? Fletch possibility. I'm, I'm sure I said it was. Yeah. Next week, okay. I think. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, Fletch, yeah. Fletch on the cards next week. So hopefully that's gonna happen. This one, um, about Igalo. I'm so happy for him, and this is what United need. Passionate players that will fight for us all the best. Igalo. This one again, this man just breathes passion for United. This is the type of player that we want absolutely over the moon. He's been given a second chance with a loan extension. Um, fingers crossed for a permanent contract. He's here until at least the end of January. David as well, great chat. Maisie needs another another forfeit. I think it's a good, a good shout that. Another forfeit for missing, of course, another show. I love Odeon as his passion is terrific. And uh, uh, he is the battering ram that we need. Stu, you do great as well. Keep the show going after lockdown. Uh, well, I hope we can. I hope we can in some form. Look forward to that. Uh, and this one, any chance you can show the unedited group chat of Maisie chatting up Ben Thornley. I was in stitches after watching that. Maisie, a legend. Ben Thornley so easily chatted up for Nando's. Hilarious. If we did show you the full unedited version, we would never work again. None of us. Literally. None of us would ever work again, I'm afraid. Uh, Maisie must have another forfeit. Make him dress as a lady for the full show. Another one here as well. Make Maisie wear a dress. So I don't think you've got one handy, Maisie. That is oh, a possibility. There are really some weird people out there, aren't there? Yeah. So, Particularly one see me in a dress. Yeah, well, you know, keep them coming in. We'll, we'll try and make him do something for the end of the week. Um, Email here as well from Lindsay. Thank you so much for the group chat. They really are a pleasure to watch. I'm a lifelong United fan from Warrington, uh, but now I live in Stoke with a Stoke fan. Oh, I'm so, dear me, I'm so sorry about that. And no offence to Danny, Wes and Ben. Maisie, you're my favourite. Keep up the good work, lads. And thank you once again. Peace, mate. That was Lindsay. That was Lindsay. And then finally from Kat. Lads, I unfortunately missed the last two episodes of group chat and Maisie's moment of glory. No, it's probably too late, but I thought of a challenge that could be done any day. Maisie, Wes, and Danny and Ben singing, I will survive in honour of all the key workers and the hard work they put in for all of us. I don't know. Lads, what do you think about that? I will survive? No, that's not going to happen, is it? In honour of the key workers? I don't um, mind. Well, it might happen. Easy, Maisie, that. Yeah. You're, you're done? That'd be easy for you to sing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hey. If we all sing, <laughs> we all sing. Hey, we'll, we'll sing it. Hey, we'll clap. Gardner, you're not getting away with this. Oh, well, I don't mind, mate. Yeah, I don't mind. You can have a word with your old man, Boris. Yeah. Oh, he God. was good. Yeah. 
That's who we're oh, applauding oh. for. Yeah. Well, listen, on to our guest, um, a member of United's victorious 2008 Champions League winning squad, goalkeeper Thomas Kushak, who we haven't seen for ages. Thomas, how are you, mate? I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm doing well. Thank where you for the invitation. Well, it's good to see. Where are you? I mean, what are you up to these days, mate? Yeah, I'm the same place like always. Very loyal mom. Stay in Manchester, you know, enjoying the good weather and the bad weather. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Contract uh, finished last year with Birmingham and uh, I'm enjoying my retirement. Uh, yeah, all best. All, all great. So that's it. You're no more playing. What's next for you, mate? Yeah, I mean, I've got something to do always. You know, I've been uh, I prepared for this moment uh, quite long and uh, I've got like a uh, little bit different industry, to be honest. It's, it's a shame to say, but I'm in... Uh, the development in the industry, building houses and flats, <laughs> believe or not. But really? this happens. It's always been my passion, kind of, you know, uh, to develop something. And after football, obviously, I did uh, some steps uh, uh, to, to, to coaching position. Uh, I did my licenses uh, and uh, BNA license. Uh, also, I went to university, uh, finished my university degree in uh, journalism, believe or not. But uh, at the moment, I'm just focused on my uh, company, which, uh, you know, I try to develop and there's a lot of work in this. It's this happening in Poland. That's why I travel a lot. Uh, but the family is very happy here in Manchester. The children are really, you know, happy in, in Crestry. And uh, I didn't want to move the family. I took the weights on my shoulders and uh, uh, travel. But it's fine, you know, we're all healthy. We all keep it together in the difficult times. and. You know, time to time I see my friends like West. Uh, three days ago we came. Uh, you know, it's always nice to see uh, all you know old friends' faces, uh, and uh, you know that's it really. Stewie was only drinking Vimto. Don't worry. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah it was only uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where's they say goalkeepers are all are all, we get are all of course. We can drink a little bit more these days because obviously we don't play anymore we can have a one or two wines more as you correct well, correct thomas where's they say goalkeepers are all a bit mad is that the case with thomas yeah thomas is up there 100 percent. good luck you need you do you need to keep it say that again tom be careful what you're saying now because next time i don't i don't let you in my house <laughs> <laughs> That's a good fight. <laughs> That's a good fight. No, Thomas was brilliant. Uh, I do think all keepers in general are a little bit different to the team. Um, but that's what makes them unique. You look back, Thomas, I mean, it's what? Five, 2006 to 2012, United, 61 appearances. Wait, overall, what are your reflections about your time? Uh, I was thinking a lot during the time, uh, you know, when... Uh, uh, once when uh, I heard uh, Sir Alec said uh, like uh, when you leave United not just me general if you're in the club and you leave the club you're always going to miss it you never no, uh, no uh, one club in the world uh, can give you this what Manchester United give you and uh, obviously as soon you to move your career and you go somewhere else you feel that and uh, my time in Manchester United my story is really um, no much different to everyone else story apart of that uh, I was a Manchester United supporter, a supporter uh, from the very beginning and uh, my motivation and uh, dreams was based on Manchester United and I had this pleasure to be in this team and uh, uh, you know uh, out there where everyone wants to go and uh, I, I fulfill my dream and I play for the best club in the world um, was up and downs, was difficult uh, times for me, time to time, because obviously my ambitions was really high, as everyone else was playing for Manchester United. And uh, um, there was a time of disappointment where I didn't get many games I love to get. But obviously the part, this is the the, the, the most important part of it was, I, I, I uh, you know, I play for the team which give me the memory. Uh, after that, before and after that, I played different teams, good teams also. You know, with history and this, but without Manchester United, my career would be ordinary. Let's call it this way. With Manchester United, there was a something which really uh, if, if you're jealous. If somebody wants to be jealous, 
then is you need to be jealous of that because you know every day when I wake up and I think uh, what a great time I had in Manchester United. I met so many great people and uh, I, I you know the Sir Alex gave me this kind of opportunity to uh, to see football in different angle. And uh, I'm never going to forget. This is nothing new, guys, what you hear, because every player, ex-player, is saying the same stuff, you know. Manchester United is a family of people which uh, always going to be friends, you know. I don't even know some of the ex-players personally, but when I see these faces, like you guys, I feel like family. And this is the, the feeling which you're going to get only in this team. Obviously, I, I never played for, uh, I don't know, uh, let's say Barcelona or something, but... You know, it's, it's very true. Many players leaving the United feel like missing something. I was the same, you know. My time was fantastic. Nothing, nothing to say. Uh, nothing else to say, you know. Always, be, I'm two, uh, I've got two season tickets. Uh, oh, yeah. United, I see fans and the normal stands above the away fans. Go, shout, you know. I love it. I always loved it. And, you know, sometimes we say, Thomas, come with us and hear this. Oh, I want to go and see the, the fans. You know, I want to. Now, I did my part. I enjoyed it. And now I'm screaming, but I'm from different angles. I used to scream in the goal. Now I scream in the fans. <laughs> you mentioned, obviously, as a goalkeeper, you wanted to play. And you, you played plenty of games. But you're obviously, for the most part, Edwin was the number one. And obviously, you know, he was an extraordinary keeper as well. So when you look back, do you think, oh, I'm a little bit frustrated, but then again, you've won Premier Leagues, you're on the bench for three Champions League finals, but there's just that little Listen, bit of frustration. No, it's just frustration, you know, no bad. I don't want to you take guys this uh, kind of bad way because uh, frustration is ambition as well. I was really ambitious and I want to give more. I want to play more. I want to be any second on the pitch. Give me so much pleasure. And obviously, I was... Uh, you know, I was training hard. I was always prepared. I knew my rule. And obviously, maybe some is a little bad, but, uh, you know, I was the uh, Edwin was, not bad, but Edwin was, Edwin is one of the most extraordinary goalkeepers in the world over the history. Because if you look on his uh, career, you know, when I arrived to the club, he was 11 years older than me. You know, when I, when I was a kid, he already won Champions League. And, uh, you know, it was with Ajax. For me to be uh, to train with the guy like that and you see him every day and watch was something special. You know what I mean? People say who is the best? Who is the best goalkeeper in United in the world? For me, uh, you know, uh, Edwin was extraordinary. One of the three, the best goalkeepers in the world, no doubt. You know, yeah. and obviously, I was just the, the kid coming to the club with big ambitions and try to, you know, play a part. And uh, I, I, I'm grateful for it. You know. Uh, over the time, people say to me, oh, maybe go away and play somewhere more games and this. I always say, one game for Manchester United is a hundred games for different clubs. That was my philosophy in, in football. And I, I'm never going to change that because end of the, your career, you can have a 400 games or 500 games for different clubs. Yeah, fine. But really, what count? How many games did you have for, for the best club in the world? And I had this pleasure to be in this time and I was really lucky and grateful for that. That, you know, we won things. We won uh, Premier League, Champions League, three times Champions League final, uh, FA uh, Carlin Cup at the time, uh, Sh Charity Shield. Unbelievable time, you know. I've got so many medals from. Sometimes I look and I think like, what, did I deserve that, you know? I don't think so, but I've been, you know, so lucky to get it. And you can say whatever you want to say. The club is... Uh, the best club. That's it. Finish. <laughs> is, there, is there anybody, Thomas, that stands out for you? So which one player, or is there maybe one or two, <laughs> that stands out for you that, you that you came up against in training that was a nightmare, but was exceptional above the rest? Uh, to helping me, you're asking? Or no, I mean, so if you were in goal, um, which yeah. was, who was in, your, in the United team at the time? Yeah. That you, that, that knocked your ball or you found it difficult to play against? Yeah, I mean, many, you know. There was, uh, I mean, uh, it was good and bad times. And they, uh, obviously, uh, the lads, uh, yeah, they helped also. And they bullied me as well in training. Let's go bullet, you know. They just give me a hard time. You know? <laughs> when you stand against the Scalzis, for example, a few times he said to me, oh, let's go after training. I, I'm going to practice uh, uh, some shots, yeah. 
And then yeah. for him it was great because for 10, he put nine in the corner. And I was just one. <laughs> and I was thinking like, what? How can this build my confidence here? But it's not just him, you know, it was many. It was, for me, I was buzzing if I said one of them, serious. <laughs> Quality was a joke, you know, and the last did the best. And, you know, I was happy with uh, what I was happy with. You know, many times there, uh, West knows, uh, you know, uh, Ronaldo and uh, Nani and Anderson and Ando stay up to training and say, come on, stay up to training, we do it. We do some practicing, free kicks, you know, millions of them. And, uh, you know, I was, uh, later on, if somebody asked me about the players, I said, for example, Ronaldo free kick, I said, yeah, I've got it in my pocket because I saved so many of them in training. Mm -hmm. But it's not true. You can have it in the pocket because the, listen, the quality was unbelievable. But for me, it was always good to be there and, you know, do my best. And obviously, I had the hard times. I had the bad games as well, you know, happen, make mistakes. Uh, the lads always stand on me, you know, when I needed the help. That's why maybe it's this, this still love to, and that this family feeling, because the family should be like that. If you struggle with something, they should lift you up. And this is what happens in the club, you know. I had a, I had a bad, like, difficult times, and, uh, you know, you have to be honest with you. It's not, it's not always going to be great. But, uh, you know, the, 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 the spirit and, like, West, for example, you know, we were living close for long, and, you know, always when there's something wrong, we support, and they always got some some good feeling from the lads and, you know, they lift me up and they help me. Yeah. Ben, Maisie? Thomas, Thomas. You... Oh, sorry, go on, Maisie. Oh, as you can say, you could relive one game, Thomas, what would it be? One game of all of it. With United? Yeah, I mean, uh, my debut was extraordinary because uh, it came very unexpected. I just signed the contract with United and a few weeks later, uh, was a big Arsenal team coming, the, 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 the great 90, to, you know, the Arsenal team. And uh, Edwin had a foot poison. Uh, and uh, and um, I remember when I, when I did warm-up, uh, Brian Robson came on the pitch, uh, do some interview, and he had seen me warm-up. And he said, uh, I said to him, uh, Gaffa, because he was my manager in West Bromwich Albion. And I said, Gaffa, I play today. And he said, whoa. Great, good luck, mate. You know, and I, I, I was like buzzing because a big game. I think till today there was the most fans in the stadium, like kind of record be, uh, done. And uh, uh, we, I think we lost one more. I did penalty. I saved it penalty. Obviously, I tried to be the man in this day, and uh, uh, it was a great game, you know. But a part of that was plenty. You know, I, I, I debuted uh, always. Special, you know, debut is, is, is great. But then I had two good games, you know, I beat Liverpool, uh, FA Cup home, great atmosphere, you know, uh, Steven Gerrard got sent off and, you know, we beat them. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Ben. Thomas, did you have a goalkeeping hero or an idol growing up? Yeah, uh, um, Peter Schmeier was the one. As I said on the beginning, uh, I, my, my motivation, my dreams started with Manchester United. Uh, as a little boy in Poland, I had a full, my room was full of posters uh, of Manchester United, and it's true. Maybe one day I dig some picture to prove it. It's not just saying. And uh, Peter Schmeier was the one. You know, I didn't have many opportunities at the time to watch, but uh, I read a lot, and uh, Peter Schmeier was the one which I really really admired and, uh, and, and I tried to follow. I always said that because this is true, you know. Actually, Thomas, you know, when you roughly, roughly, just before you left, David De Gea signed and he's still here nine years later. What do you make about what David well, has done? David signed when I was still a year there, you know. Yeah. I was still under my contract for a year and David signed and actually he played. And uh, uh, this season was difficult for me because obviously I was uh, uh, not in the squad that much as, as usual. And uh, yeah, no, listen, David, uh, he had some uh, tough time recently, like uh, last season and so. And even I'm not that active on the social media stuff, but oh. even I forced myself to, to, not force, but I want to help him because people start to, he make one or two or three mistakes uh, during his so many, how many years he was there? Like, uh, I don't know how many, eight or something now? Yeah. It's going to be. Yeah. Yeah, eight years he's, he's for the club. Listen, his performance was unbelievable. I think 
uh, you know, uh, to play for the team, which is doing really well, really, really well, and is on top. I always say it's easy. But all, unfortunately, uh, after Sir Alex left and all these changes and United, you know, started struggling a little bit, uh, he was there and he was put on the massive pressure. And he, he played massive game, a ma massive, massive role in, in, in this all total performance over the years. I'm not surprised he was picked the best player for United for like four or five years in a row, was it? And because he deserved it. You know, I watched his saves and the key moments saves and he was put most every year on the massive pressure. I played some games for United at the time where I touched three times the ball. You know, I had nothing to do. We just passed the ball, that's it. You know, we won 3-0, that's it. Thank you, great. Another appearance. David, David didn't have that. Many, every game he played, he was... You know, he made this massive uh, saves. And uh, for me, unbelievable goalkeeper. One of the best, no doubt at all. You know, it's, it's, uh, even in training, when, when, I, when I trained with him for a year, there was, we played the sides games, yeah, sides, uh, two goals. And, and then sometimes somebody smashed it in the corner. And we had the rule, if you score the goal, we start from the, from the goalkeeper again. And then somebody kicked, and I see the ball going top corner. Then I bent, I turned to pick the ball. And I see him from nowhere, boom, flying like a Spider-Man. Boom, tipped over. And I was like, oh, okay, not now. And I was like, wow, what a guy. I could tell, you know, it's powerful, it's quick, mad quick goalkeeper. You know, it's, it's, that's why he's doing so well. For me, for me, he's the top guy. There is always going to be. But he proved himself. It's not one year, no half a year. It's, it's years. Obviously, you make mistakes. You will do mistakes, but uh, in total performance over the years, I think it was great, you know. Would anything tempt you out of retirement? Yeah, contract. <laughs> 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 I wanted to ask you as well, mate. I mean, obviously, Sergio Romero is in a kind of similar position to you in many ways. He never lets United down when he plays, but he's obviously very much the, the number two. I wonder what you make of him and what he's done, because he's got an unbelievable record. Yeah, good, unbelievable record. Obviously, you know, uh, very similar, uh, similar position to to mine. You know, I came very ambitious guy, good goalkeeper, uh, but uh, he competed with David De Gea. David De Gea got it. He had a rough time, and he got his chance, and he used it. And uh, you know, I keep going. You know, obviously, uh, you know, it's, it's for for managers, always nice to have two goalkeepers, or even three goalkeepers like that. Uh, if something goes wrong or you get fatigued or you start to make mistakes based on, on maybe kind of fatigue, mental fatigue or something, because this happens if you play so many games uh, every two, three days, you know, you may get concentration a little bit, you need to rest him, then you've got option. Yeah, put this guy in and he to do well and he is doing good stuff, you know, he's playing <laughs> league cups, uh, playing uh, international football, uh, UEFA football and he's doing very well, you know, but... I don't know he's happy with the position. I wasn't when I was there. I always wanted to play because I'm sure, I don't know him personally, but for sure he's an ambitious guy. He showed that every, every game he played, you know, he's prepared and he's doing well. Uh, this coming from a hard training sessions, you, 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 you know, the, the, the work which you do every day, uh, he does properly do his homework because if he's playing, he's doing well. And, Obviously, it's his decision, you know, or, or, or you're going to accept this or you're going to push and may get the chance to be a number one, you know. David, David, we start to, you know, struggling. The manager loved that. That, that was me, the same with Edwin, you know, Sir Alex always, uh, you know, uh, he knew it. I'm, I'm there, for, there for him. If he needed me or something injurious, I was there, I was prepared. And, uh, you know, this was my part and this is his part. And you need to ask him or he's happy with that or not. Did you ever get the hair? Did you ever get the hair dry, by the way, Thomas, or not? Yeah, I can't remember. From, from Fergie. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I read uh, uh, there was a few interviews and few players, uh, you know, said what happening. Uh, there was a one thing or two about me, but I had a few, you know. West knows some. There was a, you know. Uh, and this is what everyone say. You shouldn't really answer it. You should take it as a man. But after the game, when the adrenaline is flowing in your blood, and obviously your intentions was fantastic, uh, great. But when the different direction and the manager coming and just 
you know, give you more than you answer. And I did. I answered one or twice, once or twice. But, you know, no effort. All is no effort. <laughs> 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 and all this was the same. It happens a few times. Then I arrived six o'clock morning, next day, wait till Sir Alex come because he was always early morning and they say, Oh Gaffa, sorry, you know, you, you have to you have to you have to do it, you know, because <laughs> he was yeah, he was right most of the times, you know, he was right. He knew it what to do or what to say, you know. He, everyone every player needs a little bit of time to time, you know. Because if you get too comfortable, you lose concentration and performance. Simple as that. Listen, mate, it's been great having you on this morning. It's been really good to see you again, mate. Thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it, no mate. Glad it's going well for you. Keep going. Good to see you, pal. Thank you. Thomas Kuchak. Thomas. Here's Thomas. Hello, best, Thomas. Take care, mate. Thomas, I can come and do that hair if you want. I can see you a bit yeah. coming at the side. At least I've got some. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Cheers, Thomas. Appreciate See you that. later, mate. See you. All the best, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Cheers, Bye. Clem, it's clouding over there, Ben. It's clouding over, mate. You're not going to need these glasses much longer. No, you? it's not happening. Shame, in it. There you go. Yeah, MUTV at manunited.co.uk if you want to uh, be in touch with the show on the email. Don't forget the foundation, Manchester United Foundation, another brilliant raffle prize available for you today. Check out manunited.com. Go on the app. Have a look for that. Uh, courtesy of the United Foundation. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks, guys. See you then. See you Thursday. Cheers, boys. Cheers, Steve. See you later, lads. See you later, troops.